and we are looking for team number four. Will it be the Drexel Dragons, the third seed, or the six-seeded William and Mary Track? So great offense, but pretty decent defense from both teams. Wooten wide open from deep, and Drexel on the board first. Surrounded inside for William and Mary. Good post work, but then better defense by Wooten. Give credit, though. Hustle from Taylor Hilton. And a Wooten in the high post from Mershon. A great feed. Mershon came wide open and lays it home. I think JJ was in the 90s, at least when he was in college. Backdoor cut. Johnson Allen lays it home for a second chance, but Johnson Allen ended up with the ball. Now Wooten going to work, avoided the charge, found Mershon who hits from deep. On the block inside, Matthew, good baseline move and finishes in tight. And William & Mary has eight overall wins, but only two of those wins have come on the road or at a neutral site, so they do much better at home. Flanagan, another three, and then Matthew grabs it for the drop. And that's the second time she did that, because when Creighton made that cut before, Rashawn waved her along. Hilton with the finish, in tight near the basket. She lays it up and in. And really, just how far she's come from last year to this season, as she fires up a three and on cue connects. And a lead up to a game high 22. But she knows the pieces that she needs for her puzzle, and she just hand picks them out as, as we get another nice shot by Pearson. 41-11 is the William and Mary F. Mackenzie Morrison got it inside. Finish in tight by Kerstetter. We're in that game. Didn't fall down by double digits until less than three minutes left. Backdoor Johnson Allen again with the finish inside. And it's 45-13 Drexel. A couple of all-conference performers on the floor as well. Creighton head fake the three-pound. Pearson for a triple. Got it as the shot clock expired. Rachel Pearson from deep. Reddick with it top of the circle around the perimeter to Johnson Allen. Into the corner this time. Creighton hits from long range. It's raining threes. All-time leading rebounder in the conference. And she didn't play for 16 minutes. And Hofstra was able to stay close enough that they could make a run in the second half as Mershon not letting William and Mary stay anywhere near the Dragon. Shantae Evans and really played fantastic scoring in double figures in that game. Deep three from the outside, short from Matthew, but she followed it through the shot and made something good happen, what do coaches say all the time. Go overseas or go into coaching and continue being involved in the game. Another three for Pearson. Here off though, holding it on the perimeter. A dominant performance tonight by Drexel as they take care of business, beating William and Mary in decisive fashion. The Dragons march on. They'll face James Madison in tomorrow's semifinal. Drexel 65, William and Mary 31.